What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama. Today, we're going to talk about fall gardening and compost. Now, it's maybe a little bit late to plant. I, not where I am. It's not. But maybe where you are, I'm not really sure. It is October the 2nd, and I'm just about to plant some mustard greens and turnips. Now, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll know that this was a big pile. I just took the I just took the tractor there and busted this pile apart to see what, how it looked on the inside. And look how good this compost, comp, it, how this turned into a great compost pile. And what this was, was when I, I planted corn in this spot right here. This was, this was corn and that was peas over there. So my original plan was I was going to plant peas again, but I think I've waited too late. In fact, I know I've waited too late. So we're just going to plant mustard greens and turnips. Maybe a, another type of green. I don't know. Maybe some spinach. But this pile, I pushed all these corn stalks up into a pile. And if you can go back and see my other video where I did that, I just pushed it all back up into a pile. It was this big green gob. And once it started composting down, I processed some chickens later on. And I put... 36 chickens in this pile and i just busted this pile apart and i don't see any remnants of them yet there may be some down the bottom we're gonna we're gonna bust this pile on apart and see if there is there may be some bones or something i'm not sure but that looks i mean it just is so rich just look how dark it is and how fluffy it looks i mean that's that is optimal soil right there so that just goes to show you that really, literally just about anything will compost. <clears throat> I mean, I put 36 chicken carcasses. That was the feathers, the the carcass, because of, of what I did was I went on and deboned them while I was, after I was uh, processing them. So I just pulled out the meat. I didn't, I didn't do whole chickens. I generally, I don't do that. I probably should if I had if I had a chicken plucker I'd do it. I've plucked them by hand before and I just I think I'd like to have a chicken plucker but I never used one. So I just don't know. I've never been around anybody that had one. So all that being said was all these carcasses and the corn, I mean it was a big green mess of just weeds and corn and whatever was green out here. I just took this tractor and pushed it in a pile. And it's it's better than I thought it was going to be. I, I mean, I've done this before. This is not my first time. I compost these corn piles every year. I've uh, been doing that for a little while. But it, it, this, this this year was exceptional uh, good. And I think it was because of the mixture of stuff that I had. Because I would put not just the chicken. I mean, I would put food scraps out here. I Look, you can see where I burnt some boxes yesterday. Now, and there was a little bit of wood in there. But I just, I'm mixing up this ash, and it's just all these things that I'm. It's just, it's just a host of things went in this pile, and I got another pile over there, right there, that I'm about to put some chicken litter in, and I'm gonna keep that one going in a pile for a little while because I want to compost that down. But this pile, we're spreading it out right now. All right, so let's get on the tractor and put, spread it all out, and let's just kind of see what's what's underneath and see if it still looks like it does in the middle because this middle looks it's super great this is like super soil So I found just a, I mean, just a smidge remnant of a of chicken, but for the most part, it's gone. It's just all the way gone. I, I mean, I'm gonna show, turn you around and show you. I mean, you can look, I've, I'm spreading this out right here. And I mean, this is good stuff right here. And those sales boxes over there, that was Amazon boxes. And you know, when we get Amazon box, I just score them up in the garage and then come out here and burn them and get them down in the soil. So 
<laughs> free soil from Amazon. I don't know, but this this really is. Of course, I take out all the plastic, make sure plastic tapes off of it. But but this this is just unbelievable good. So I'm gonna continue spreading, and then you see that disc on the back. I'm gonna run that disc over it just to kind of you know mix it a little better, and then it'll be ready to plant. See that rock I just showed you? I don't know if y'all, wherever y'all are, you have to deal with rocks in your garden, but oh my gosh, where I live, there are just so many rocks. I don't know if that's good or bad. Bad on your equipment. That's why I, I don't till too much because of that. And I don't have a tiller on the back of this tractor because of that. It would just, it would hit them. When I tried it, it just beat them, beat them rocks. and just, I felt like it was gonna tear up everything I have. So I do have that a hand. I do have a walk behind tiller, and I just so I can keep an eye on it. But it pulls up rocks, man. It's just bad. Lots of. Them. So this is gonna rain in, and I'm talking about it. This this looks excellent. But I did pull when I was when I pulled that disc through there. I did pull up that little bit of rem, excuse me. I did pull up that little remnant of chicken left, and it really doesn't it doesn't stink. So I mean. It's just a little bit of feathers, a little bit, you know, the hair on the chicken. But anyway, I'll, I'll just show it to you. So that right there is a little remnant of chicken, a little bit there, and a little bit there. And that's all I can find. And I pulled up the whole pile. So just those couple little spots, I think I'm just going to take a shovel and pitch them over in this other compost pile and let it keep going. Um, it's, it's almost there. So the rest of it's fine. It's totally fine. So here's what it looks like, and I've run the disc over it, and, I, and it's like it's, it's mixed up pretty good. So it will be time to plant. I'm going to plant here in a, day, in a couple of days or so, and, and then hopefully we can get some uh, turnips and uh, some mustard greens going. Maybe even some collards, I'm not sure. So let's go over here and check on this other pile. So this volunteer squash, right? I got a couple of squash out of here. I didn't get a lot of squash. There's a couple in there that's way past beyond picking. Uh, the last time I did it, when they got all hard and yellow, like real deep yellow, I gave it to the pigs and they didn't really eat it, <laughs> I guess. Oh, uh, let's see. As you can see, some remnants of some hair right there. And there's a remnants of, uh, if you see that right there, some bones. So what that is, is raccoon. And what was happening was, is I got the, I have predators here that come get my chickens. And so I trap them. If they get near my chicken pen, there's traps out for them. Sometimes I catch them. Sometimes I don't. I lost a chicken not long ago, but I don't know what I lost it to. Uh, I, I had five black chickens. I have ten, a 10 total right now and two geese, but I did have 11. <laughs> And I had five, five of them were black. And as of about three or four days ago, I'm down to four, four black ones. So, and I did find some feathers. I have no idea what got them, but I, the predator problem here is, I wouldn't say it's overwhelming, but I do lose a chicken here and there. So I have to keep on it. And if I have to take a predator out, sometimes I release them. I take them down the road. Sometimes I do. And that's really my preferred method. But that, this particular one, I was kind of in a hurry. And I was like, I'm just going to put him in the compost pile. And his fur wasn't good enough during the summertime. Wasn't good enough to keep. So rather than, you know, had to waste him, I don't like wasting at all. Uh, made good use out of him. He's fertilizing the garden. And that was some remnants. I need to turn this pile. Keep so him going. here you go. Uh, Amazon box super soil mixed with chicken and corn. So... That's my version of super soil that I made, and I know you can do that too. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. That's all I got for you today. God bless. There's a bone right there. But not that many of them. Just a few. I can sift it. See my sifter right there? I can sift this. But this is a lot to seal, so I think I'm just going to handle it otherwise.